uh, for finding pressure points, trigger points, knots, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to use my forearm uh, for the demonstration. Uh, just imagine this to be, it, it, it could be the leg, it could be your shoulder, it could be whatever body part, but I'm just doing this just for demonstration purposes. And what I'm teaching you is applicable to other areas of the body. So I know and I understand that it's uh, fairly difficult to find these spots, particularly if you're not a person that's a hands-on person. Um, let alone if you're not a massage therapist, it's going to be that much more difficult. I've been doing this for almost half my life, so it's a lot easier for me to get in there and find these spots. But it doesn't mean you can't get any better. Um, the more you practice it, it'll take some time, the better you'll get, just like with any skill. So um, we're gonna, I'm going to show you uh, ways to get in and access uh, the proper pressure points, acupunct uh, pressure points, um, knots, or trigger points. All right, so um, what I'm going to do, and this is uh, probably one of the most important things to remember when you're looking for these spots, is to make sure that the tissues are relaxed. So I've got my forearm here, and it's, it's basically placed on my, for on my, uh, not my forearm, my, my thigh here. You want to have the area relaxed. You don't want it to be taut where it's stretched out like this or, uh, you know, where you're flexing the muscle uh, because it's going to be that much more difficult to get in there and um, find those, uh, the, the, those uh, tender spots. So with, with all the techniques, just make sure that it's nice and relaxed and you don't have as much resistance. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to, once everything's relaxed, you're going to take your thumb and generally speaking, you're going to go find general spots. In the videos and in the sequences, I mention certain areas to guide you in terms of where you will find certain points. Um, let's just imagine that uh, the certain points are somewhere right here on the forearm. Okay, it could be on the thigh, on the thigh, it could be somewhere on the upper thigh, on the upper outside of the thigh, the inner thigh so on and so forth on the back. It could be closer towards the glute. It could be uh, higher up, whatever. But uh, the point is that um, I will help uh, direct you in terms of uh, where to pinpoint these uh, actual spots. So again, we're gonna go to the forearm here and I'm gonna just press around and find tight spots. Now I found a tight spot here. I'm just gonna hold the pressure here. Realize that um, these tight spots are relative to the other areas that you're pressing around. They're generally gonna be tighter than the rest of the area. You'll also find that um, these, uh, these spots may be uh, painful, tender. It might actually refer down uh, the limb, uh, down the leg. So if you find a spot like that, just hold the pressure there. Hold it for about 30 seconds to uh, a couple of minutes. Realize that you don't have to necessarily dig in as hard. You're not trying to overpower it and break your thumb. That's not what you want to do. That's not what I want you to do. Uh, if you need more, um, uh, if, you, if you need more of a, a firmer, um, uh, firmer uh, thing to use, you can try this technique here with the knuckle and just basically push into the area. Realize also that um, if you find the spot correctly, if you're very specific, you may not even need to dig in as hard. When I was a younger massage therapist, when I was, you know, like when I started off, uh, I used a lot of my force, but now it's mainly about the specific location I'm, uh, I'm working on. For you, again, it's gonna take a bit of time, but when you find those spots, you just hold for 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. Once it relaxes, you'll know that this, um, uh, this, you're on the correct pressure point because it's gonna be, again, very tight, potentially tender, may refer down the arm. Those are, those are a few things that you'll know that uh, you're on the proper spot or spots. Once it relaxes, you'll know because those symptoms that I kind of mentioned start dying down. Then you're gonna find other spots around the area. And you don't have to even like move that far, right? So like I'm right here right now, I could move maybe a couple of mill millimeters this direction here, a couple of milli millimeters down the, the, down the forearm like this, and I might find those tender spots. Now, there's certain sequences and videos that I will mention a specific area where you might find the mother of all uh, pressure points or trigger points. Uh, you will find that if you are working on a certain area and there's maybe multiple uh, uh, trigger points or pressure points there, that there's going to be one spot that's going to hurt the most. 
Uh, you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. If it doesn't relax, um, you're gonna pull back a bit, wait a few seconds, and then try it again. Uh, it might take a bit of time before it relaxes. So those are my tips for finding pressure points, trigger points, um, knots.